Hi everybody, my name is Lewis and this is Traditional Black Potter. Today we're going to spend a few minutes taking a look at the Lee Pro 420 melting pot. Alright, so this is the uh, Lee Pro 420 melting pot and as it comes out of the box everything is pretty much assembled. The only thing that you would have to do is um, screw on this knob that goes onto the handle right there. So pretty much no, no assembly needed. And what you get is just uh, the knob, the melting pot, and some instructions. So the reason I got this pot is because one is uh, try to save money on ammunition and uh, you know not that it's that expensive but you know it's 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 noticeable enough that it might be worthwhile to start casting and also more than that more than the cost for me is uh, is the consistency I don't know if uh, you guys have ever bought different kind of ammunition from uh, you know most of the major makers and and if you start uh, either checking the weight of the balls for consistency or even the size, uh, you'd be surprised how much of a discrepancy there is. And all of that can have a, a problem with uh, accuracy. If you want to plink around, it's no big deal, you know, but if you're trying to get the most accuracy uh, in, for, that you can for your gun, it, uh, it would probably be better if you can have more consistent uh, projectiles, right? One way to do it is to actually cast your own bullets and reason being that you're going to be using the same mold and you're going to get some consistency and whereas when you buy a box of ammunition you you never know what you get from box to box so if you can eliminate that process and get uh, some consistency by uh, having the same mold all the time then uh, I think it would help towards you know getting the most accuracy out of your uh, firearm so I have not casted before. This is going to be my first time in the near future and hopefully I'll do a video about that. And I went online and checked out all the furnaces that they had available. And you can spend, you know, relatively small money or, you know, a lot of money for some of the big, um, uh, big fancy uh, furnaces. For me to get started, I figured that uh, probably this is uh, a good way to go. And um, the cost, I think, right now, I, I only looked at a couple of places, it's, it's running like in the mid-70s. So it's not too bad because the uh, other, um, uh, other melting pots that uh, are like from uh, Lyman or uh, RCBS, they can run you into hundreds of dollars. And they're probably great pots, you know, because I've, I've read a lot of good things about them. But to get started, I didn't feel I wanted to spend that much and uh, to see how it goes. So I figure with um, for 75 bucks, it's uh, worth uh, getting uh, getting into it and see how it goes. So this is a 20 pound pot and it's a bottom pour. And the adjustment lever is right there. Adjustment is done by, you know, moving this uh, screw either clockwise or kind of clockwise, depending on how much of a flow you want. And over here is the lever to let uh, let out on the bottom. Down here, we have a shelf for the uh, for the mold, and it's also adjustable. Uh, to go up and down depending on uh, you know how big of a mold you have. The knob over here, uh, it's going from low to high, and it, ha it has from two to nine. Now, now that, that's not in degrees. That's basically just an arbitrary thing that they set from low to high. And uh, what you need to do, and, and what I'm going to do, is actually have a, a lead thermometer and test it out and see at what temperatures you're actually reaching once you set it at a certain number. Um, until I do that, I won't know exactly what the, what the optimal uh, setting will be. And uh, it seems to be a quality, uh, quality piece. You know, I don't see any anything wrong with it or uh, you know lack of sh or, or rather a lack of uh, workmanship everything seems to be okay seems really simple and from what I've seen on the web and other people uh, talk about it uh, uh, there have been some complaints about leaking you know dripping uh, 
and that might be due to maybe the bottom over here getting some um, some stuff clogged into the hole and and this not being able to seal when you let it go so uh, hopefully by keeping that clean uh, it'll avoid that problem and time will tell I think when I when I cast for this first time uh, which probably be uh, relatively soon uh, I hope I will uh, videotape and, and see how it goes for a rookie you know for a first time casting what kind of uh, problems I may or may not have so so for right now for $75 uh, I, I think uh, you know this is not a bad investment and I'm sure I'll get my uh, my money's worth out of it one of the things that I have seen on the web is I guess when you're first going to get started with it is uh, and you can feel it inside there's some kind of a film or oil inside of the pot that um, I'm sure it's there to protect the metal while it's in in, in the box or store because you don't know how long these are going to be sitting around and uh, basically just take some um, some alcohol or something to actually uh, you know wipe out all that residue before you do your first melt and I will do that and other than that you know there's not a whole lot to it uh, seems to be uh, like I said a quality a quality piece of equipment and although they have some reviews that you know talk about the problem with leaking hopefully keeping that clean and uh, using uh, some uh, clean lead and keep trying to keep it from uh, clogging will, will alleviate that problem. So thanks for checking in. Until next time, keep the tradition alive.